Airport parking from only $15 a day. That's Park on King, just a short walk from Sydney Airport. We'll even drive you straight to your terminal, no waiting. Sydney's best priced airport parking from only $15 a day. Book online now at parkonking.com.au. The informed investor, thanks to Century 21. Smarter, bolder, faster. Go to century21.com.au. Monday night, we're always very happy to be joined by Charles Tarby, Chairman of Century 21. Evening to you. Thank you, Steve. Good evening to you too. Yeah, on the other side of the, the world, here we are looking I... in. You know what you do? I know you do it. I know you do it. <laughs> I do it. I can't resist looking in a real estate agent's windows at property prices. And wandering up York Street yesterday to head to the 11th of the 11th uh, ceremony here in Albany, uh, wow. you can buy okay. stuff from 350 to 850, and you're talking five bedroom homes. I know it's an incredible place. It's it is a, obviously a long way away, and, and they say that Perth is one of the most isolated cities in the world. But yeah, you know, you've got to say that Albany is a a, a pretty interesting uh, location. That's probably the best I could put it. Uh, it we um, we did have representation down there for some time many years ago, so I got a chance to visit the area. Uh, but it, it's a beautiful spot. And if you think about the rest of the world, and you think about a place like Albany, uh, and it's, now hang on a second, is it Albany or Albany, Steve? I don't want to get this Aldinger or Aldinger thing. Albany. Thank you. All right. Just to make don't sure. Don't do that again. Uh, <laughs> It, it, when you think about where it is and you think about what's going on in the world today, it's a, a wonderful place to be. It'd probably be a wonderful oh, yeah. place to be. Yeah, looking out what, over that coastline today there? was what, amazing. What are you doing, what are you doing in, in Albany? Uh, we're here for Western Australian Tourism all week. We're doing two days in Albany on air and then we're up to Bunbury as well, where I know oh, you've been casting wow. your eye around as well. You so we'll be going be through that beautiful Margaret River. And you'll see some lovely uh, C21 signs, Bunbury all the way up to Mandurah, up into Perth, because some very active uh, officers and agents there. Margaret River and, and Bustleton and all those places, they're really actually quite extraordinary places to go to. And uh, I went there with my son. Uh, uh, we, we had a great time down there for a few days. It's just a beautiful part of the world. So you, you, you look at uh, those sort of real estate prices and you really say to yourself, you know, if, yeah. if I can find work here, uh, I can move out of Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane. Uh, I can, you know, probably bank half the capital gain I make in my, yes. the sale of my yeah. property, pay cash for a house here, which is probably going to be bigger, uh, probably more modern. That's probably going to yeah. have a swimming pool. Uh, you've got probably room to park a boat or a caravan in the in the garage next door. And boy, life's going to be pretty sweet. A, a, amazing lifestyle. And I think you, you hit the nail on the head, Steve. It is about employment. Um, it, as long as people recognise that capital growth doesn't occur the same way, uh, yep. if they're going in there to, to retire and, and, and live a lifestyle, a certain lifestyle, there's some absolutely stunning places. And again, most people would probably have never heard of Albany. Uh, you know, they think of Albury uh, more than they might think of Albany. Uh, but it is a long way away. But when you when you get on, a, you fly into Perth and you get on a, a small uh, or, or small jet, you're there in no time. Yes, that's only an hour's flight from Perth. Uh, listen, we were in Perth on Friday night, stayed at a brand new West Inn Hotel. Uh, Perth seems to be in pretty good shape. What sort of shape is it in real estate was? Uh, yeah, it's come back and we uh, we looked at Perth for quite some time. It's an area that we've been suggesting to people to look at. We suggested Adelaide and we suggested Perth uh, for, for the last year. The reason for it is that Perth really suffered badly in, in the crash. There were situations there uh, where people, if they, were, if they bought uh, prior to the boom and then they got this boom cycle, five years later they were back before boom prices and a lot of people had negative equity in Perth. And so so all of a sudden, Perth became very attractive. The vacancy rates were incredibly high in Perth for some time, quite 11 and 12 percent, while Sydney and Melbourne, as you know, were twos and ones. And uh, there were in, there were people who bought investment properties there that were offering three months rent free, anything they could to really? get a tenant. Yes, it, it was extraordinary. Um, and now it's changed. It's changed because the prices are so low. Um, affordability is there. The, the mining boom, as much as it was before, which was a little bit crazy, is far more settled down, a lot more structured. And there's employment in Perth. And uh, and you can do incredibly well buying a property in many of the suburbs. You go, you go north, 
up through to some of the new locations up, up through Ellenbrook in those areas. You've got all the shopping complexes. Uh, you've got properties, again, that are selling below what people were buying them for three and four and five years ago. So that's why we sort of selected Perth as an area. There's a lot of Middle East investment in the United Arab Emirates. There's a lot of migration from South Africa into Perth. So those those uh, that, with the mm. flight now, direct flight from London to Perth, the 16 or 17 hour flight, there's a significant move in that part of the world now. When you look at uh, South Africa, United Arab Emirates and Western Australia, they're very strongly connected. Paul sold up and moved to Queensland. G'day, Paul. G'day, Steve. Good to hear your voice again, mate. You too. Hey, mate, I, look, I'm your classic example of this. I, I sold a, 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 basically a million-dollar property out of Newcastle. I was made redundant after 23-odd years with, with Telstra and got employment up here. Didn't even know where it was at that stage. Came up. Bought a, a house that was twice the quality with an in-ground pool, everything that opens and shuts, 161000 Wow. Beautiful wow. town, yeah. wonderful people. Are you um, loving it? Oh, mate. It's the change of a lifetime. And That's a great story, Charles. And, and it, is, it is, Steve, and, and uh, a lot more people should be doing it. Queensland, again, it's taken a long, long time for Queensland to move. Uh, everybody was was talking Queensland, talking how wonderful the place is and people should buy there and so on. And I, I, they were talking it up way too early. I remember an advertisement that appeared that, that had my name attached to it saying you should yeah. buy in South East Queensland. And I said, look, hey, I, I, that's not what I believe. <laughs> no, um, but I mean, when you do a deal like Paul's deal, I mean, that's just a fantastic thing to it's, do. It's perfect. And Paul, that's Good on you, Charles. you used to do. Thank you, mate. I'll talk to you next week. Thank you. Tarby. Charles Tarby there, the, uh, the chairman of Century 21, and a success story from Paul, who's moved himself and his family up to Emerald. Self and his family.